What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to discuss August, not in a channel update kind of way, but I just want to walk you guys through my mental evaluation of August and that it's going to be gigantic. So I've been saying on Twitter, you know, recently in terms of the channels, okay, in terms of my own personal life and stuff, uh, you know, July is rough. July has always been rough uh, historically for both the channels or at least Podcast Now as well because July normally doesn't have anything that happens in it. Uh, it's actually normally a kind of big month for movies. Last year we had zero of them, but last year games kind of filled July. In fact, Ghost of Tsushima released in July, which was obviously a really big one. There were more Destroy All Humans, I believe, was another one. But July was pretty darn solid last year. This year kind of went back to same old, same old. I mean, Black Widow was like a big thing for like two days, and then it kind of, you know, fizzled out. But in all, July really has next to nothing in it, and I'm not going to really apologize for saying that. However, I have been saying that August is going to be where we flip the, sw uh, the script, right? Where literally August through December, and I would even argue January, it doesn't stop. It literally doesn't stop. And so I want to tell you guys why. So these are things that I'm looking forward to in August. You may or may not be. I'm also, there's also possible I'm leaving things out. Okay, so you can let me know in the comments what things you're looking forward to in August. But I'll start with uh, movies first because, you know, there's only one of them, in my opinion, that I, well, obviously for me, that I care about, which is The Suicide Squad. Very exciting to start a month, you know, August 6th with a movie. Now, actually, my wife's birthday is, is two days before then, so we get her birthday, and then a couple days later, we get this movie. I'm pumped. Uh, I, I have been up and down on this movie, but over the last, I would say, week or two, I'm like, it's, it's getting there. It does tend to happen with games and movies that I can go through prolonged ups and downs and then as we get really close the excitement just kind of skyrockets and that's uh i think i'm feeling the start of it for suicide squad and then in august in terms of games i mean my dear jesus there's a lot we have back for blood which uh, the beta uh which actually is going on for quite a while i think it's like eight days in all four days and four days but it depends on um you know if you're in because one of them is like early access or like they invite you in the other one is open for everybody but that's exciting i've already played this game in the alpha so i don't think i'll play the beta like an insane amount but i'm definitely excited to jump back in it's free so why not you have hades which obviously has already come out but see that's the thing i've never actually played hades i've heard obviously amazing things on it one game of the year all of that stuff so it i know it's a good game i've seen other people play it before uh, i'm excited to play it for the first time ever and i believe it's a game pass uh it's a game if it's free on game pass so that's very exciting because i do have game pass 12 minutes the game 12 minutes i know that doesn't excite everybody it pretty much just excites me and maybe a couple other hundred people online which is very i'll say it it's sad it's very sad but i cannot wait for this game i've been waiting for this game for six years now and uh, i'm you know i wasn't like a this isn't like a kickstarter thing i didn't give them any money i'm just really excited for it i've been excited for literally forever for as long as i can remember and so uh you know, the fact that we're almost there also excites me. Ghost of Tsushima, man, you know, this is another one. I, I still don't plan on replaying the story of Ghost of Tsushima, like playing it again. I, I played it the first time. I loved it to death. I, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not one who replays games for the most part. There are games, Life is Strange, the Batman Arkham games, Uncharted, uh, Sly Cooper, like there's games in my history that I've played more than once, but it's actually very rare, Mass Effect, but it's very rare for me to play games more than one time, even, even if they mean a lot to me. In fact, actually, that makes them more likely to not be played more than one time if, if the game means a lot to me because I don't really want to experience it again because I feel like it maybe takes away from the overall experience. But with that being said, the Icky Island thing, oh my dear God, like I cannot wait. I cannot wait. They also still, at the time I'm recording this at least, they haven't talked about what the big update for Legends is, the multiplayer, and I, I'm a huge fan of that. I think they did such a good job. So anything they give us there is going to be exciting. Okay, moving on because I could talk about it forever. Aliens Fire Team, Aliens Fire Team Elite technically. This game comes out the same day as Kena Bridges Spirits. Now, Kena, I I mean, there's very few games I'm more looking forward to than that game. Okay, I cannot wait for that game. In terms of Aliens Fire Team, just because I said it first, I'm excited for it. I think uh it's gonna be one of those games where I just play it. Um like here and there, you know, I have friends who want to play it, or who at least I think are gonna play it with me. We'll see if it ends up happening. But no, I mean I, I 
you know, it's not going to be a game I play nonstop. It also, it, it actually factually just can't be. You know what I mean? There's so many games coming out within like a week or two of each other that if I play Aliens Fire Team too much, I'm not going to be able to play the other game. And if we're being honest with each other, I value a lot of those other games over Aliens Fire Team. So uh, it kind of does come towards the end. And it really is, I think, just more of a game where you can jump in, you play a couple levels, you jump out, and, and, it, and it works like that. Whereas some of the other games, I don't really think uh, would do that. Again, for Kina, I mean, my I, I really actually don't know what to say other than I've been a fan of it since the day they announced it. Visually beautiful. Gameplay looks fun. Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Really, that's it. But the visuals are so good that it's impossible to ignore, at least in my opinion. Again, and I've said this before, I think there are actually quite a few people that value how good it looks and how much they, they like it. I've seen it quite a bit online with uh, people saying, like, what's your most anticipated game of the year or of the rest of the year? And Kina is up there on a lot of people's lists. So that makes me very, very happy. This is like 12 minutes, except people care about it. And 12 minutes, <laughs> that's factually, I think that's just true. I'm Sorry if that uh, that upset people. Psychonauts 2. This probably is the game I value the least, or I care, not even value, like I care about the least out of all these games. And it, I mean, it's just because I haven't played the first one. I know it's uh, it's on Game Pass, so technically I could. I don't think I'm going to just because I'm busy. <laughs> that's honestly that's the reason I'm playing. And I'm playing The Witcher 3 right now. I'm trying to literally do everything in that game. And then by the time I'm done. It'll be Hades time, and it'll be Back for Blood and all that stuff. So I, I literally won't have time, I think, uh, to, to play Psychonauts. So that's a me problem. That's my fault. But it's just, you know, I'm excited for Psychonauts 2. Again, it's on Game Pass. Why not? You just pick it up. I'll play the first couple hours. If I'm hooked, I will beat it. If I'm not hooked, I'll put it down and uh, continue playing some of the other games that there's no way I'll have beaten by then. Okay, that's, that's probably my plan. So... Uh, you know, and even besides that, there's two other kind of honorable mentions, maybe even three. One of them is Black Panther coming to Avengers. Now, I care while also not caring. Does that make sense? I see it as something that could be very good and could be very special. I mean, this is like the biggest thing they've done for the game since the release. Now, they've done other things. Like, this isn't the only thing they've done, but this is, and they've even said it, like, this is the biggest thing. So, I am excited to see, um, you know, if they nail it or not. I, I really, if I'm going with my gut, you know, I, I uninstalled the game after about a month after it came out. I played it nonstop. I played it every single day for an entire month, and then I stopped, and I've been waiting for something to pull me in, but almost in the back of my head, I'm thinking, but there's nothing that can. Does that make sense? Where it's like, I wanted to come back for Kate Bishop. I wanted to come back for Hawkeye, but it's like, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not. Black Panther, maybe, maybe. If it does, if it's very well received, if everybody loves it, I think I would do it. Um, and, and but, uh, however, that's one thing that needs to. If that doesn't happen, there's zero percent chance that I care, and then I'm re-downloading the game. The second thing, though, really is timing, because if it comes out between, let's say, the 19th, which is when 12 minutes comes out, through the 25th, in that time, there are five games that I listed just now. Five games come out in the span of six days, okay? I will not put Black Panther and Marvel's Avengers above those games. I, I just, that's that's ungodly of me to do something like that, okay? And that's just, again, that's just my opinion. If you value Avengers uh, more than me, completely respect you. Nothing wrong with that, but that's where I stand, okay? So that's one thing. Also, Gamescom, have, now this is outside of, uh, like, actual playing the game, but Gamescom starts on August 25th. That's the opening night kickoff with Jeff Keighley. Last year, Gamescom was pretty okay, um, and, and Jeff Keighley's done pretty okay in his past couple events so i'm excited to see what he's got uh and the and the final final thing could be battlefield now i know there was well people consider it like a leak but it was actually almost official but it was confirmed to be fake so i don't really know what's going on but the alpha or like the i don't even know honestly is it alpha or beta but the or like playing the game being able to play the game through, I think it's their betas, um, and it was it was said September, but that was proven to be fake. So is it possible it's in late August? Yeah, is it possible it's not in August at all and it's in September? Yeah. So I say that as a super honorable mention because it's very possible it literally doesn't happen in August at all. So 
thought this would be a little bit different to kind of talk about these things let me know in the comments below guys anything you're looking forward to in august whether i said it or maybe i didn't say it there are other games that are coming out there are other movies that are releasing it's just none that really stand out to me make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up and i do a brand new video on this channel every single day and so i hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video